Hello, how are you? I'm Daniel from Santuario Lunar, and in this video I'm going to talk about Luna Sasaba. To be the first to receive the news and updates, please subscribe to the channel and turn on this notification bell. Lunasa represents the first crop, the first harvest. So everything we planted there in Nostra, we fertilized in Beltane and we energized in Letha, now it's time to harvest. And Lunasa means the festival of Lug, the son of the Celtic sun god. In the Northern Hemisphere, Lunasa occurs around August the 1st or 2nd, and in the Southern Hemisphere, it is around February the 1st or 2nd. Lunasa and the First Harvest It is said that during Lunasa, the Sun God sacrificed himself for the grains, for the crops. So everything we get in this season we can use to make bread and cake and offer to the goddess, to the fairies and to the animals. The next harvest and the last one in Maybon, the sun god will be visibly weaker. Lunasa and the death of the sun god. Although we cannot see it yet, the sun god is getting weaker and weaker. And from now on, we will visibly see it and feel it. So Lunasa is a great moment for us to think about what we are harvesting. Because of course, we are only harvesting things we planted. So what are you harvesting now? How to celebrate Lunasa? Lunasa celebration involves creating things with the things we can crop. So, we can make bread and cakes, different types of bread and cakes, and we can offer this, as I said before, to the goddess, to the fairies, to animals, and to people we want to be close to us. So, this is Luna Sasabat. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and share this video with your friends. And if you like it, my mug, you can find it at redbubble.com alongside with many other items. And in the description of this video you find a link to a blog post with everything you need to know about the Wheel of the Year and the 8 Sabas in case you don't already know it. So, thank you very much and see you!